Hi, all. I'm Jacob Sussman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of the agency BX Studio, a Webflow exclusive agency. And I'm really excited to be speaking today about our work building booking sites on Webflow, as well as various benefits of Webflow that make it uniquely suited to being an architecture for these types of sites. In particular, today's presentation will focus on our work with the Muse platform, a best-in-class room management system that uh, has an integration that works extremely well with Webflow to provide e-commerce functionality, room browsing functionality, and everything you need to basically bridge the gap between Webflow's front end and an Airbnb or hotel booking-esque experience. And in particular, these sites, um, which are fully e-commerce enabled, can be launched in record time at reduced cost on Webflow. Some topics we'll be covering include why launch a booking site on Webflow, a deep dive into the Muse platform itself, discussion of how the Webflow CMS integrates with Muse to streamline site updates and content publishing, and then two case studies, one of which focuses on our work adapting a Webflow template to work with the Muse platform, as well as a more complex, fully custom, multi-platform site case study featuring an API integration with Muse. So to kick things off, you might be wondering, why build a booking site on Webflow in the first place? We would argue Webflow is actually uniquely well-suited to these types of sites due to a few key factors here. Number one, the CMS, which we all know and love and allows our clients to publish content on an ongoing basis easily, you know, without any technical involvement, can actually integrate directly with these third-party platforms. And through specific data fields in the CMS, you can allow clients to add new properties, new rooms, new locations on their booking site that then plug directly into the third-party platform, almost like you're publishing an e-commerce product from Webflow's no-code CMS. In addition, because Webflow is platform agnostic, at least in terms of booking platforms, you can integrate it with any of the major booking platforms, and even potentially several of them on the same site. And as you'll see later in our case study of the locale site, this actually came incredibly handy, where one of our clients needed to integrate with two distinct booking platforms, but wanted the same front end, you know, so for a more consistent customer experience. And of course, you know, this is just scratching the service of unique architectures that can be developed with Webflow and custom integrations. And then finally, the more standard benefits of Webflow that we all greatly appreciate, we feel are particularly suited to the hospitality industry. As Webflow's design forward visual editor allows clients to create animation rich, beautiful, dynamic sites and update them with ease. To discuss Muse, Muse is a property management system that has developed an excellent and easy to install booking widget that can be placed on just about any site. It's particularly easy to integrate with Webflow as the booking widget relies on you know, on-site fields such as date selectors and the ability to customize the ID of individual HTML elements, all features which any Webflow developer can easily implement. And this booking widget can either be installed as an on-site widget, which keeps it more consistent with the you know, core site, allowing you to X out of the widget and go back to the site, or it can be loaded at an external URL, depending on your level of familiarity with Webflow and technical requirements. Muse also has an excellent API, which we'll discuss later on in our discussion of the My Reservation page for Locale. Now, the power of this integration really comes from how CMS can feed in information to these integrations and then also receive it back in the form of clients publishing new CMS entries. And this is really distinct in that we often think of the CMS as a means of publishing front end, you know, static content. I mean, to post blogs, images, information that our site visitors actually see and process and interact with. What we discovered on these projects is the CMS is also a great way to feed backend data into a third party integration as it provides you know, very intuitive fields for our clients to put in specific data fields, such as in the case of Muse, a property ID, a city ID, the information that Muse uses to understand which property or room or city a customer is interested in browsing. And these can be hidden on page and then passed into the integration via JavaScript in order to allow our clients, when they update these hotel booking sites to publish new properties on the Webflow front end, that com are completely consistent with the e-commerce checkout flow of the Muse backend. Now, there are a few key approaches to the CMS that we recommend you consider when you're integrating Webflow with a third-party booking platform. Number one, CMS templates 
are very well suited to the hospitality industry in that, you know, most hotels or Airbnb esque platforms, short term rental platforms have property templates and room templates. And if you're familiar with the Webflow CMS, you'll understand how these are extremely well suited to CMS templates and that each time a client wants to publish a new property or a new room on their site, they can leverage the pre-built CMS template to quickly spin up a new page that follows that structure. And going back to the beauty of integrating the Webflow CMS with Muse is that same integration can then be instantly duplicated for any new properties or new rooms using the CMS backend fields. Similar, you know, this is more of a standard Webflow CMS best practice than a booking integration. Using multi-reference fields allows you to create nested data structures that directly match the hospitality industry. For example, in the case of Locale, which um, is different than Airbnb, but as a short-term rental provider can be thought of as the same. Locale has cities, followed by properties, followed by rooms, and those rooms and properties link with other collections such as amenities. And by linking those collections in the CMS via multi-reference fields, you can allow the client to easily publish pages that don't just feature the content of one CMS entry, but pull in content from your other collections. And similarly, those multi-reference fields can also be used to pass integration information between pages so that your city page can actually launch the booking widget for any property that's featured within that city. And of course, the CMS is the best way for our clients to interact with the data fields required by third-party integration platforms. We don't want our clients going into a site's backend and editing JavaScript. Instead, they can load up the CMS, see the field in the CMS that's very clearly labeled Muse Property IED, and input a number into that field, allowing them to achieve a JavaScript-enabled integration without ever writing a line of JavaScript or seeing it for that matter. Similarly, if you're on a more complex site, such as our locale multi-platform case study, you might have different configurations of the integration that you want to vary between entries in the same CMS collection. And although it's particularly easy to you know, duplicate an existing entry and then version it exactly, CMS toggles or other settings in the CMS can be used to completely alter and transform the configuration of that integration depending on your requirements. On the back end, we'll have a more complex JavaScript branching structure to interpret those CMS requirements and load the correct integration. But all your clients need to interact with are toggles and easy to press buttons in the CMS so that they can launch, so that they configure one property to have a different booking integration than another. Finally, this is separate from the booking integration, but there's a whole host of content out there that can be sucked into these CMS templates via the rich text fields HTML editor. On the locale site in particular, we use this to embed dynamic maps with custom creative elements specific for each property, which itself were created in a no-code map creator, Snazzy Maps, which will be very easy for our client to create new maps in the future. And uh, this could also be used for reviews content or social content, UGC, any type of content that you want to populate via an HTML embed, but be accessible to clients via the C an intuitive CMS editor. Our first case study today is going to focus on a signature service of BX Studios, where we take a Webflow template and customize it for our clients. And we find this is perhaps the most efficient way of launching a website on Webflow for our clients because the templates are, you know, they're so well designed, they're well made, and they're ready to go. A typical version of one of these products, we might just populate content, configure the settings, and then set it to launch for a client. In this case, we also were able to integrate Muse with the template. And this allowed us to launch a fully featured booking site in less than one week for one of our clients, Lifehouse, who manages a number of hotel partners, in this case, the Hotel Autumn Creek. Now, this process was incredibly efficient. First, it's a more typical creative agency service of aligning with client on site structure. However, rather than imagining the site structure from scratch, we encourage them to look at the template and think about which modules and components on the template can be adapted for their purpose. Then we prepare content sheets. And we like to use Notion databases for this, but you could use a spreadsheet, you could use a Google Doc, like whatever is easiest for you. 
And that allows client an easy, convenient format to hand off the site's content to our team, who then can, you know, because the content sheets directly map to the Webflow structure of the site, can easily populate that content in Webflow with no confusion or doubt. And finally, we install the Muse widget. And what's incredible is this widget is so full featured and so powerful, you know, with a full e-commerce checkout flow, and it can be installed in just, you know, a single line of code. And you just link it with the button on your site that you want to load the widget, and then you're good to go. Once the content is populated and the widget is installed, we then just ensure that the widget is referencing the CMS property IDs of each property so that the booking flow isn't a generic booking flow, but actually launches according to which properties the customer is browsing on the site. And in just a few steps requiring, you know, really this could be completed in one day if you were to just like book the client and like workshop the site all day, you're ready to launch your new booking site on Webflow. Of course, we always recommend completing a standard QA checklist to ensure that the setting is fully optimized according to best practices. Our next case study is on the other end of the spectrum. If we just looked at a templated site that was largely built from pre-built components, the locale site was a fully custom design. Um, shout out to the designer, Mark and Versina, very talented designer. Um, and then our team inherited a rich set of, you know, like 20 plus Figma high fidelity wireframes to develop from scratch. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to Anish, who developed the site's front end um, and did a really beautiful job, you know, building the front end and Webflow. Now, our work here was interesting in that we... You know, both had to, you know, we had to install the Muse integration, but Locale also had other platform requirements, properties that are in Guesty, properties that are booked via email. And they wanted to manage, you know, this complex tech stack across multiple platforms, multiple checkout flows, all from one Webflow front end with consistent CMS templates for every property. So this was a great opportunity to dig into the Webflow CMS and find the strongest possible architecture for building the site on Webflow. So there's a few key things going on in the locale site that I want to highlight today. Number one, there's a complex CMS architecture. And those of you who have spent time architecting CMSs on Webflow will be familiar with how it really, you know, it takes a it takes careful attention to ensure you're setting up the CMS data collections in the best possible way to streamline clients' process of updating the site in the future. In this case, you know, Locale had 15 properties. These are across multiple cities. Each property has numerous rooms. Those rooms and properties have different amenities. So we created a series of multi-reference collections that allow all of these data sets to talk to each other and pass information to each other as needed. So the property pages can display the rooms and the city pages can display the properties and so on. Next, we used custom code embeds in the CMS to extend functionality beyond like what's possible with just the Webflow CMS itself. In particular, each city page and each property page required a dynamic map. And we use snazzy maps because it'd be easy for client to create new maps in the future with any features they wanted. And then we using a, with a single line of code, they can drop these maps into the CMS and have them populate on site in the exact placement they intend. Next, there was a multi-platform requirement. And this was managed through a single toggle in the CMS that allows our client to specify whether a property should load the Muse checkout flow or a different third-party platform, Guesty or an email checkout flow. And using this toggle on the CMS, we coded a different button that responds, to, that loads a different integration depending on the technical requirements of that property. And finally, this is the most complex part of the site. There was, is a My Reservation portal on the site that allows customers to confirm check-in and check-out information that's specific to their reservation. And this is the most advanced version of integrating the CMS with a third-party platform in that on this page, we dynamically populate both CMS content and content from the Muse API on a single page. So a true blending of CMS and API generated content. So to talk about the, you know, the architecture of a short-term rental company like Locale, there's this you know, hierarchy of information. And when you're browsing, you might 
first want to look at a city page that has all of the properties in Austin. And then you might want to click one of those properties and look at the different rooms. And then there are amenities that, you know, they're kind of like tags. You know, if you've ever set up a CMS for blog categories that are shared amongst those rooms. And this was, you know, the core data structure of the site. And what's great is that Muse, Muse understands cities and properties and rooms. So whatever you're looking at, you can load a Muse booking flow specific for that view, such as all of the properties that are available in Austin or all of the rooms that are available at a given property. Next, we implemented a toggle so that the button, all the book now or checkout buttons on the site don't automatically load Muse. Actually, what happens is the site references how that property is configured in the CMS. And this allows our client to publish new properties by themselves with no development that either load a third party integration or not, making it a very you know, powerful front end for their site. Now, finally, I want to do a deep dive into the My Reservation page and the API integration that supports it. So this page was very complex in that we had to provide a way for our customers on site to input their reservation number and confirm you know, and the first confirm if that's a valid reservation number and then confirm which city and property that reservation is associated with and then populate a page that features check-in, check-out, other information relevant to their reservation. You know, it's check-in and check-out instructions, the date and time, all the information you want to know about your reservation. So the first step was to set up a backend for that information um, as the Muse API actually doesn't support dynamic calls. So we needed to take the reservation data that was in Muse and store it in a different database. And we opted for Airtable here as it had a pre-built webhook feature and can easily be called you know, via JavaScript. Then we built the site, this page's front end in Webflow. And uh, the front end of the site you know, it features a form, a standard Webflow form where the customer can input their reservation. And then uh, if the reservation is accepted, you know, it lifts like a curtain, you know, to reveal the My Reservation information behind it. And as I mentioned, you know, one power of this approach is that if there's any information you want, you know, on-page JavaScript to be able to reference, but you don't want to have to do an API call or anything too complex, you can just place that content on page as a hidden element. So in this case, we took a lot of key information from our property CMS and stored it on the My Reservation page as hidden elements, just so that it'd be as easy to reference and populate on-site as possible. Now, with these you know, key pieces of infrastructure in place, our reservation data in an Airtable database and our CMS content you know, as needed hidden on page, we were then set up, you know, prepared to accept customer data submissions. So when a customer goes to this page and puts in a My Reservation number, we can query the Airtable database and look at all of the reservation numbers that are populated. And if these are popular, you know, if it is a valid reservation number, the animation can play, you know, lifting the My Reservation portal and displaying the check-in, check-out and instructions for that specific property. And that content, part of the reason this is such a fun page is some of the content is coming from the information unique to that reservation number. You know, their check-in, check-out time as that's specific to the reservation. And some of it is more generic CMS content that pulls from the hidden fields on page because the reservation number that ties to a reservation in Airtable actually features the same property ID as our property CMS and Webflow. So we're able to confirm that the reservation is valid, confirm which property ID it's associated with, and then query CMS content that's tied to that same property ID. And all of that information from both the Airtable database that's populated via webhooks and the Webflow CMS that's labeled by property ID, that can all be populated on page in response to that customer submission of the reservation number. And what this results in is a great front end experience for the customer that gives them the exact information they need and you know, seems seamless and frankly, much more complex than it is, thanks to the power of Webflow. So I wanted to thank you all for uh, tuning in today and uh, listening to our presentation. I hope it was helpful. And uh, yeah, don't hesitate to reach out if you're ever working on an interesting Webflow integration and uh, you know, I think our team might be able to support. So uh, best of luck and have a great day.